Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the afternoon session of the opening day today, the 11th of September, 1893. We now introduce you to Swami Vivekananda from India. Sisters and brothers of America. Hello children, welcome back to your English class. Today we are going to continue reading the story, The Most Beautiful Thing, written by Ella Kenan. In the previous class, we saw that the main character in the story is a queen who is very bored and she wants to find the most beautiful thing in the world. She declares a contest and she decides to give her crown as the prize to the winner of this contest who would bring her the most beautiful thing in the world. Many people line up outside her palace to show her their paintings, their poetry and even their pets. But she does not like any of them. She waits for the most beautiful thing in the world. Then a bearded man comes and tells her that there is no point in waiting for the most beautiful thing to come to the palace. Instead, the queen must go in search of it. Let's continue reading. The queen was astonished. She asked, What do you mean? But the man was gone. The queen's adviser said, Do not bother yourself about what he said, your majesty. But the queen had an idea. Send everyone home, pointing to the people still waiting in line. I must prepare for a trip. The adviser was surprised. A trip? Where to? he asked. The queen smiled and said, Elsewhere. So after the bearded man told the queen that the most beautiful thing will not come to her, she will have to go to it. She was astonished. But her advisor said, don't mind him. Don't listen to what this bearded man is saying. But the queen had other plans. She told the advisor, tell everyone that the contest is over and that I am going to go on a trip. So the advisor asks her, where are you going? And she says, elsewhere, which means she does not want to be in the palace. She wants to go somewhere else to find the most beautiful thing in the world. All arrangements were made. The queen was so excited that she wore her best dress and her crown for the journey. The crowd cheered as the royal carriage moved out of the palace gates. The queen was not sure what she was seeking or where to find it. But as her carriage rounded a hill, she looked back at the palace. The setting sun sparkled between the white towers. The scene looked like something out of a storybook. Why have I never seen my home this way before? She wondered. So all arrangements were made for the queen to go on the trip. She wore her best dress and wore her beautiful crown and set out on the trip. And as she set out, initially, she didn't know where she was going because she didn't know what was the most beautiful thing in the world. So she just started out and it was the time of sunset. So as she moved out of the palace and crossed the hill and looked back at her palace, it looked so beautiful in the setting sun. And she wondered why she had never looked at this beautiful palace of hers before. The queen spent weeks traveling. She saw beauty everywhere. In the birds flying back to their nests. In a newly born calf. In the twinkling stars. The queen, what did she do? She spent weeks, many, many days traveling to different places. And when she was traveling, she found so many beautiful sights. What were the sights? She saw birds flying back to their nests, newly born calves and twinkling stars and she found all these sights very beautiful. One day when the queen was sailing in a lake, she realized that she felt peaceful for the first time in many years. Suddenly she understood. With all her might, she broke off a piece of her crown. She tossed the piece into the lake and watched it slowly sink. I am ready to return home, she announced. 
and one day during her trip she was sailing in a lake and she felt so peaceful and happy that's when she realized something what did she realize we'll find out but before that what did she do when she felt so peaceful she broke a piece of her crown and dropped it in the lake and watched it sink and after doing this she felt that she was ready to go back home meaning she had found the most beautiful thing in the world as she journeyed back the queen left a piece of her crown at the root of an old tree she placed a piece at the bottom of a green valley and the top of a snow capped mountain she dropped a piece in a stream she tied a piece onto the mane of a pony little by little the queen's crown got smaller until nothing was left she had found the most beautiful thing it was the world on her way back to the palace she kept breaking her crown and dropping small pieces of her crown here and there she dropped one piece near the root of a big tree one piece at the bottom of a green valley one piece at the top of a snow capped mountain and she tied one piece onto the mane the hair of a pony a horse and like this she kept dropping pieces of her crown at beautiful sites and her crown started getting smaller and smaller and finally there was nothing left of her crown and finally she had found what the most beautiful thing was it was the world itself the world was the most beautiful thing she found beauty in every nook and corner of the world so she broke her crown and gave pieces to all those beautiful sights so children the queen of this story she is giving us a moral she is telling us to look for beauty in the world outside don't sit locked up in your room in your house go out and look for beauty and enjoy the creations of god but children because these are difficult times and we are going through a pandemic we have to be careful we have to wait for everything to get back to normal so we can go out and explore the world and enjoy the beauty of god's creation that's all for today thank you